All right, in this video, I want to evaluate the limit as x goes to 0 of x to the fourth e to the cosine of 10 divided by x. So you note that I can't evaluate this limit by substituting 0 in for x because that would make 10 over x undefined. So I'm going to use the squeeze theorem to evaluate this limit. I'm going to start with the cosine portion because that's something that I know a little bit about, an upper bound and a lower bound. Actually, I know a lot about it. So I know that the cosine of 10 over x, as long as x is not 0, which here we're sending, uh, we're taking the limit as x goes to 0, so we're concerned with values near 0 but not at 0. Okay, so as long as x is not 0, the cosine of 10 over x has to be smaller than or equal to 1 and greater than or equal to negative 1. Okay, so using this fact, we can now establish an upper bound on e to the cosine of 10 over x. e to the cosine of 10 over x. Since cosine of 10 over x is smaller than or equal to 1, the largest that the exponent of e can be is 1. Therefore, e raised to the cosine of 10 over x has to be smaller than or equal to e to the 1. Again, that's because the largest that cosine of 10 over x can be is 1. Similarly, the smallest that cosine of 10 over x can be is negative 1, so that has to be bigger than or equal to e to the negative 1. So knowing, upper bounds and knowing the upper bound and lower bound on cosine of 10 over x gives us an upper bound and a lower bound on e raised to that. Okay, we're almost ready to apply the squeeze theorem, but we know that we have to have the whole function in the middle of the inequality before we can use the squeeze theorem. The missing piece is the factor of x to the fourth. So I need a factor of x to the fourth here. Since x to the fourth is a positive number, it's not zero, because here x is going to zero. We don't set x equal to zero. So x is anything but zero. Since x is anything but zero, x to the fourth is going to be a positive number. I can take an inequality and multiply each piece of it by a positive number, and that doesn't change the sign of the inequality. So if this were just x by itself, I'd have a problem when x is negative because I would have to change the signs of the inequalities. But again, x to the fourth is never negative, so I can multiply each piece of this inequality by x to the fourth. So I have x to the fourth here. I multiply this piece by x to the fourth. I multiply this piece by x to the fourth. So my inequality becomes x to the fourth e to the negative one is less than or equal to x to the fourth e to the cosine of 10 over x less than or equal to x to the fourth e because e to the one is just the same as e. Okay, so here I have my inequality where in the center of it I have exactly the function that I want to take the limit of so now I'm ready to apply the squeeze theorem. So let me get a different color here. So x to the fourth, e to the negative one, we have to figure out what that goes to as x goes to zero. And as x goes to zero, e to the negative one is just a number. So as x goes to zero, x to the fourth times e to the negative one goes to zero to the fourth times e to the negative one, and that's just zero. Okay, so x to the fourth, e to the negative one goes to zero as x goes to zero. Similarly, x to the fourth times e goes to zero as x goes to zero. Therefore, by the squeeze theorem, this middle portion also must go to zero as x goes to zero. Okay, so this limit equals zero by the squeeze theorem. So now we're done.